and welcome. I'm trying to mute my. Uh oh. All right. Am I echoing? I hope not. Okay, so I have the live YouTube going and I have the Leonardo. All right. Am I echoing? No. I hope not. Well, I guess I am. Okay, so I have the live YouTube going and I have the Leonardo. All right. What? Hey, Almitha, you're muted in case you're talking. So I didn't know if you were or not. And then also, can you share me your buy me a coffee link so I can put it over in Clubhouse? So I'm not sure if you're talking or not. I'm but, having uh, problems with the echo. Oh, echo? Okay. Almitha, you're muted in case you're talking. Almitha, why don't you go ahead and just um, mute the YouTube live and then you won't have a problem. So pause it, like pause the YouTube live or else close out of the screen. Mm -hmm. Amita, how are you checking your echo? Oh, okay. You have to, like, you can slow down. Like, you don't have to, like, jump right away. That's what I'm Is that better? Like, I say that, like, are she talking a little bit? Like no. Yes, I can hear you on Zoom. Okay. Yeah, just get it. Mean, yeah, I hear no echo on Zoom. I'm not okay. on Clubhouse, mm -hmm. though. It's I'm my better. Clubhouse is on. Okay. Okay. I think I fixed it. Sherry, help me fix it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good. I had to mute the um the YouTube. That was what that was. Okay. Hey everybody, come on out. Who's this? Mohammed, how are you? You can come on up. And Christelle. Okay. Christelle, did you put the Zoom the Zoom link up in there yet? No? Okay, I'll get it. Let me get this Zoom. Oh, me, so please pass me your buy me a coffee link before you get started, okay? Okay, I gotta. 
All right, give me a minute. I'm going to have to have a little page of these so I can keep up. Yeah, me too. All right, so it's going to be, where are we? Give me a second and I'll get it. And I got a... In the meantime, I'm just going to say hi, Tim. Yeah, if you Piano guys, Man. please introduce yourselves. Sure. Hi, Tim, Piano Man. We're here in the One Click Creator community. Um, Almita is just getting herself situated with her content so that she can uh, present her course. Uh, she's going to be doing a master class this evening. And um, my name is Trisha. I'm one of the... Uh, course creators here in the community. I um, am doing a course on midlife people branding themselves on social media. And I am here in Clubhouse this evening, but she is also presenting on Zoom and YouTube. So we're going to be uh, presenting here in the community. And if you would like to come up and be on the stage with us so that you can communicate and ask questions, um, we welcome you to come up on the stage. And Mohammed, same for you. I sent you an invite if you wanted to come up. Um, and we also put a link up top if you feel that you um, are getting value from the content that's being presented for you. We always encourage people to offer the person that's supplying the content. We offer you to buy them a coffee. Um, that's a wonderful link in a way that you can offer. Uh, somebody uh, talk me for the value of content that they're sending out to the community. So that link will be up at the top of the stage for anybody that feels that they're getting valuable content here in the community. Um, with that, I'm going to close the mic. If Adrian would like to introduce herself, that would be wonderful. I don't know if Sherry is available to speak here in Clubhouse, and Christelle, I think, is busy with her little one. I'm not sure. Um, but we are here if you'd like to come up on stage. I mean, I think your link is definitely pinned on the top. So I'm sorry for bothering you. It's there. Oh, no, sure. you got it. I, I put oh, it up. Okay. It's up there. Okay, and then now yeah. I'm, I'm getting the Zoom in. So I'm trying to get everybody else for the Zoom. Hey, Tim, that's great. Tim says that he's here from the UK. He's excited to be here. Blessings back at you, Tim. Nice to meet you. Awesome. And awesome. So I'm just time. getting things situated here. We'll, we'll be on our way in a few minutes. All right, everybody. The Zoom is in the chat. So please join if you'd like. And I'll give people a chance to join if they'd like to. What I'm going to do is for the people that want to join the Zoom, you can come in, you can join, you can watch. And for our community people, I'm creating a document. So that way y'all have a copy, the link to the Zoom. Because for me, I know it's hard to get a lot of information and then remember it all. So I'm gonna put the copy of the, the Zoom link in the document. And I'm gonna also make it a, a, a Notion page with some information so we can go through it. You, know, you can just go through it some as you need it, okay? Sharon, you can come on up if you'd like. All right, so if anybody else like to join, I'm going to get started. So um, let's go to here. So this is Leonardo. This is an AI text to art generation application. It is like mid journey. The difference with this particular app let me get it all up. The difference with this particular app is Mid Journey is based on a Discord server, and Leonardo is based on a web server. All right, so there's differences on that. You can go to the web on Mid on Mid Journey to get your archived history, 
but everything is right here on Leonardo. It's one place. All right. So if you can see, oh, so I have people in the waiting room. Where are we? Who's waiting? Adrian, come on in. And Muhammad, come on in. Try to keep an eye on everybody. Let's see, make sure I don't miss anybody. So the link to Mid Journey, I mean to Leonardo, is leonardo.ai. As I'm going to bring this over, this is what I'm creating for the group for our members. As soon as it comes in. I was trying to get it done before the course, but it didn't work out that way. So as soon as my computer catches up. So I'm going to start it out with introduction what the Leonardo is. You're going to have the link to the app. Because so I want people to be able to just sit back and not have to rush through if they don't want to and just in, watch and, and absorb everything that they can. And then they can go ahead and go step through with the video later. This is the payment plans that they offer for this particular, for this application. They offer it free, but that's only for 150 tokens. And you'll see how fast those tokens go <laughs> when you start playing in the AI art. Then they have an apprenticeship for $10 a month, an artisan for $20, $24 a month, and a maestro. Now, these prices are discounted because you're going to be paying for a year, for, per year. You have a monthly, and the monthly rate tends to get is, is higher. As you can see, there's your discount. All right. So the ways to get through, and you will get all this as I step through this whole process and everything, you will get all this and um, be able to get going. Now, one thing about Leonardo that was in the past, I don't know if it still is, it was a three-day process. <laughs> so you would have to apply, you would have to wait for an email that they like you <laughs> enough to accept you in. Then you had to respond and say hello and do all these other on their Discord server. They do have a Discord server, but they don't do their art on the Discord server. So you had to go in, you had to say hello. And then they would send you another email, a second email to say, thank you. Now you're on the officially on the white on the wait list for the whitelisting to be able to join the server. And then what you had to wait several days to get to the let the third letter that says, Welcome, you've been whitelisted. Welcome to the Leonardo server. It may still be that way. So what I'm going to say is you can click on, if you see, am I showing? Yeah, okay. You'll see you can select early access to get you onto this and sign up. And once you have signed up, you go to launch, it'll say, no, we'll need to be whitelisted to be able to sign in. So then you can select here. Once you've been, once you get that third letter, if that's the way they're still doing it, to say you're whitelisted to join. Other than that, if you haven't joined yet and haven't been accessed, got the early access, then you need to put in your name and your email address, okay? And do the count me in. So once you've gone through that process of getting, letting them onboard you for their application, and matter of fact, I think I'm gonna, let me do this. I'm gonna show you the Discord server so you see what that looks like. So I have my Discord server has everything. <laughs> I have too much on my Discord servers. And so that's going to take a little while. So like I said, the first email will be for you to go and join their Discord and say hello. And it's a welcome and, and, and all the steps that they ask you to go through. An email validation, the whole nine yards. Then you'll have the Discord server. So if you look, see on this side, on the left side, these are where your list of Discord servers that you have are, okay? And on this, you can see, this is my Leonardo Discord server. On this Discord server, this is, these will be the first thing you start with. It has where you'll talk, general information, suggestions, frequently asked questions, but there is no art. It's just people talking. So what they'll do is I'll have you come here down at the bottom and message and say something. And once you do, I'm trying to find the message that you'll get. I, I am in the wrong area. So announcements or is it? I don't think it's announcements. I'm trying to remember where it was. So where is it? 
rules. So I would go through, when I come in here, you go through the rules. You try to make sure, because you don't want to violate their rules because they'll kick you off. You want to go through, look at their announcements. And then there was a spot in one of these. I think it's, is it general? But it's where you introduce yourself. And I have, and I'll give you the document of what you do. It'll have you say hi. And then right after you say hi or introduce yourself, the bot will then, then it'll generate a message saying, okay, now you're all right to be whitelisted. That'll be all in your document. So you can go through that process. Has anybody recently done, uh, applied for Leonardo? Or is anybody trying to do it now? <laughs> I'm trying to do it now. <laughs> okay. And it, it didn't go through all that. It, it put me right on Discord and had me um, check off what language and everything I wanted to. Okay. And then it just asked me a few questions. And now it's asking me what language I want to select. And then I can say hi, I guess. Yes. So I can see somebody's typing in there. Yeah. Trying to see where I can see, make sure I can find you. So where do you end where you're saying hi? It's not announcements, is it? Where are you at? Um, On this well, side. It, it, I just clicked the, the, the English and it's not, it hasn't done anything yet. It's spinning or doing something now. So about it it? Okay. Yeah, it hasn't given me the opportunity to type yet, but that was the last <laughs> thing it that was the last thing it asked me. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. So, so once you get that, then it'll give you a message to tell you now you've been white, you know, after you get your emails and stuff. You know, so once you've gone in and you've gotten done that hello or mm -hmm. whatever it's going to tell you to do now, because like I said, I haven't done this for a couple months. So the intro may be a little different. Mm -hmm. Almeida? Yes. It's telling me right now that I have to wait 10 minutes as a member before I can speak. Mm, okay. Where? In my, in my, in my Zoom? No, 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 no. In oh, Leonardo. In Leonardo. Yes. Leonardo. And I, I put on the um, get started um, information tab. Okay. So it's making you wait. All right. So they, some of the stuff they changed. They didn't do that to you, did they, Mohammed? Mohammed, I think I lost him. <laughs> okay, I don't. He lost his mic. I don't see his mic there at all. Okay, so once you get past this Discord server, and once you follow what they instruct you to do, Adrian, they'll say you've been whitelisted, and then you'll go through that little process that they want you to finish up. You may or may not get a, a last email, or they may send you straight into where you can log into Leonardo. Okay. So, but they want the thing they want you to do is you can't launch without being whitelisted. So just look out for that. If you need any help with that as you move forward, let me know. I will help you. Once you get whitelisted and then you log in. It's probably going to log me in here because I'm already logged in. Okay. Let's go back. This is something what made me a little late today, so I apologize. I was fixing this little guy here. I want to show you guys the editor. And this is the little guy that I fixed here. He had an extra third arm, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But they have an editor in this app where they don't have it for MidJourney. And it allow you to make changes for this um, it, within the application itself. So let's go back out and let's look and see what Leonardo has to offer. Leonardo gives you 200, uh, 100, it used to be 250, but now they only give you 150 tokens that you can play with per day, which is enough to give you a few hours worth of testing and trial and enjoying yourself and having a good time. So you get these tokens, you can upgrade. And when you select the upgrade, you'll see what the pricing is and what they offer. The next thing you'll, when we go back, 
you'll have home. Home is where you can see all the other different models that they have. People can have different textures and themes and stuff that they would use. And you can see the models. And you can see all the different art. Look at this, Einstein. All the different art that people are creating with Leonardo. The other thing about what well, seeing everybody else's art is that you can also, if I select it, let's say I select this one, see what prompts they use, what kind of upscaling image they did, negative prompts. I'll tell you, we'll talk about what negative prompts are, what resolutions they did, a guidance scale they did, the sampling they did with Leonardo. We'll talk about as much a, a good chunk of that. All right. And their fine tune model. So if you want to copy, if you see something that you like, just like on um, the journey, if you see something that you like, you can go ahead and copy it and see what it does for you and how you can get something similar to that, pic that picture and learn what the language is, what it's saying to you, the prompting and the information and the details. See, this is the 8K resolution, all the different things that it's telling you at once in this picture, okay? And this helps you build your prompting vocabulary for art. The next is a community feed. This also shows you all the different artwork that's being done that people are doing. And they got some beautiful stuff in here. Next is your personal feed. So your personal feed is all the art that you generated. So you remember the little, little man that had the, um, had playing, he had a third arm. I was able to correct that in the editor. But this is all the little art and stuff like that that I've been doing and making in Leonardo. We won't go through training and data sets that's more advanced. And so it's creating a fine tune models. But these are what they call fine tune models. So if you want something to look closer to this and this type of theme, you can use this fine tune model to try to get something looking at, with those type of features that type of theme feature, you know, character or whatever you want to call it. Like this one, you can get a pixelated art one and then just get that type of tone and, and um, what it's doing and then put in your own prompt and see what it'll give you. What we're going to do here is go into the AI image generation and the AI image generation is where all the love begins. It gives you a default of, well, you can do up to eight images, but it defaults at four. You can even just choose to do one image at a time. It all depends on what you want to do because it will, it counts down the number of images and everything will count down how many tokens you have. You can see over here, and I filled in something here in the prompt. This is where you do your prompting. I put something in a prompt here so you can see where you can generate your prompt, but it'll tell you how many tokens it's gonna to cost before you generate it. So if I, it says right now, I'm only doing one picture, it's gonna cost me two tokens. And if I wanna do, come on. Well, now you can only, oh, they changed that. Now you can only do up to eight tokens on a free plan. Okay. So, but with the eight token, with the eight, uh, the four pictures, I'm sorry, you can only do four pictures on the free plan. But if I want to do four pictures, it's going to cost me eight tokens. So it's two to tokens per scene. So here is where I'm going to go and generate my art, uh, put in my prompt, I mean, and then I can generate the art. When I did that, it, I had, I put a child playing ball in the yard. And as you can see, this is the type it gave me a child playing ball in the, in the yard. I can say, Generate it again. Um, let's see. Disney cartoon. Uh, what am I doing? I'm going to say cartoon style. I want to see what that does. Or no, let's do realistic. Oh, let's see, Ooh, ultra. Okay, so I'm going to try to generate again. And this is how you generate your prompts. 
So you know where the prompt is, you know how to generate. The thing, other also thing that's offered differently for um, Leonardo, it didn't give me ultra realistic this time. So you got to play around with this stuff, with these, with this art. Um, oh, that's right. Why well, I got Dreamscaper in there. Let's see. Let's do this. I'm going to change. This is a fine tune model. I went to a different fine tune model, and I haven't used that one before. So let's try it again. So now you'll see the difference of what happens when you change and use different fine tune models. Does it cost you any more tokens when you change anything? No, no. See, I'm still generating four. I'm still paying eight tokens. And you'll be able to see that as you go through it. So let's go here. I'm going to try the same thing. Yeah, not was acting funny with me today. And I'm generating. But like I said, you'll learn how to go ahead and put in some more complicated prompts. You can use other people's um, prompt information. And it's still doing, da, da, da. I'm going to change this. Generating for now, I'm going to try none. So you can play around with these different fine tune models. Still did that. I'm going to have to play with it some more. It's been a little while, quite a while since I played around with Leonardo. But here you can see how you can generate. The other thing is, is you can, that's different from Mid Journey than Leonardo. You can also do, enter in a basic prompt idea. So I'm going to do a rabbit eating, um, eating a carrot. If I get spell, all right. Now I can generate up to two, four, six, or eight different prompts. It'll, so what I'm taking is just a basic idea and I'm going to tell Leonardo to generate different ideas or different ways to say it. And you would hit this ideate button. So I have it doing four. And as you can see, it's going to do four variations of the rabbit eating a carrot. So it's a white rabbit nibbling on a bright orange carrot in a lush green meadow. Or I can have a mischievous rabbit in a, uh, with a carrot in its mouth standing up top of the hill of wildflowers. And there's two other ones. So I'm just going to choose one with the wildflowers and we're going to generate. Where did it go? Anybody see my generate my rabbits one? I thought I saw generate. So it's doing a fluffy rabbit with a carrot in its mouth, hopping through the sun drenched garden is what I selected. And there you go. So you may like your pictures. You may want to really generate your pictures. Or let's say I like this picture, but I want to get rid of that little carrot there. It's not what I want, but it's cute bunny. So while you get your pictures, I want to show you different things you can do. I can delete the picture. Let's say I don't like this rabbit. This poor rabbit looks like he's crying or not having a good day. So I can delete the image. I can enhance the image. So let's say I like this bunny and I want to enhance it. And there we go. Let's remove the background. They changed these symbols a little bit. Yeah, they did. So this is the upscaler. So we want to upscale this and see how much better we can make it. Sometimes you like the upscaler and sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's better when you if you just don't touch it. But the thing is, you can look at both of them and work with either one. So here's the rabbit. You can see them. And then let me move this out of the way. You can see the difference. 
This is the upscaled wrap. Uh, oh, crap. What did I do? I upscaled them again. Let's see, baby. Let's see what you do. Okay. So this is the original. And this is the upscaled. Do you see the difference? The original. And then the upscaled. And then I did a no background. You can totally remove the background of it too. So you can take that buddy and put that buddy anywhere you want to if you don't like the background. So let's see. So I'll show you the different things you can do. So this is the download. You can uh, unzoom. And that's a beta because that's new. And that's going to cost me. So just remember, things will cost you. I got 70 tokens left. <laughs> you uh, Here's a smooth um, scaler. This is new. So this um, is smooths out and, and does some fine detailing. You guys can just play with these different things. This is another type of upscaler that's new. And this is the upscaling for the uh, high def that I just used. And this is the image to image. Image to image is more advanced. So we won't talk about the image to image today. And this is the edit in Canvas. This is what I did when I took little the little Tommy and fixed his arm. Oh, there's the other bunnies. So here's the other bunnies that I generated that were in the, in the flower patch. I don't know where they went originally, but here they are. Okay. So this is something that's new, it's called alchemy. Um, if you don't, if you have, if you have the free version, you're not going to be able to do anything with it, but they said it's up and coming shortly. Then they have some other things that are new, which is the prompt magic. Um, and that helps you get some and put some enhances and improvements in there for the, for your models and stuff. So all this stuff is new. Go ahead. Somebody was going to say something. Yeah. Can you upload a picture and do things with it? You can. So I'll show you that as I get further down. So then you have all this stuff is alchemy and prompt strength and prompt magic strength. This is all new. You can play around with it as much as you can. It'll tell you what you can do, but you really won't understand it until you see it. But this is all new. I haven't played with that. And just be honest with you on that. But you got 150 tokens a day to play around in this application. This will also, this is for your um, resolution. So you have 512 by 512, all the way up to um, 1024 and 1024. You can also change the resolution of your pixels here and make it so it's not all even. You can do, change it around however you want it to look. Now your, um, Aspect ratio, we talk about aspect ratio when we're looking at things to put on YouTube and what we're putting in our um, our Notion documents and stuff like that. A lot of times we'll do the 16 by nine, 16 by nine. So here's aspect ratios. You can use them in different ways and for different purposes. And I would just say, play with those aspect ratios and see what you like or what you need. Tiling, tiling allows you to do I'll show you what tiling does. So tiling allows you to, I'm going to say, can take print with children. So I'm going to generate something like that. And what that tiling does, it'll generate a uh, print or whatever you want, but you can link them together. So if you see this one, you see where the plant on this side is? It's right here on this side. So you can put them next to each other side by side and even up and down and you can fit them like tiles. Does that make sense? So then you could use them for so many different things if you want to. But that's what the tiling function does. It allows you to connect the same photo to each other as you need them. 
Um, so here, where did I go from tiling? So here you can do image to image. I've uploaded an image of myself and <laughs> I probably shouldn't show it, but I guess I will. Let me see if I can find it. It's in my personal feed and I'll show you what it did to me as I was experimenting. As you can see, so I took a picture of myself. This is a picture of me. And you see how it changed the picture. It kept the shirt and stuff basically the same. It kept the hair basically the same, but the face itself is definitely different, not me. Does that help, Mohammed? Oh, he left, okay. But here you oh, guys- can... uh, No, I was asking. Uh, thanks for showing me oh, that. Oh, sorry, Joanne. <laughs> <laughs> so does that help? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. But why did it change the picture of you though? That's kind of strange. Why did it do that? I don't know. I, because it's, so here's the thing. I can ask it to do whatever I want, but the pitch, the, the AI is really going to do what it, what it wants to interpret. So okay. one thing I can say is the first thing it did to me is, I guess it didn't. Well, it made, I was like, it made me white. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And then I'm like, no, I'm a black woman. I have to change it. So it is, it is biased. If I start asking for things, it doesn't automatically give me an Asian woman, a black woman. It doesn't give me any of those ethnic features. It, it originally will give you somebody a Caucasian features. You mm. have to specifically ask for it and 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 we tail it into your prompt. Okay. Okay. And that's even for chat to uh, that's even for mid journey. Mm. So that's what you can do with, let me go back. That's what you can do with the image to image and image to prompt. So I can put the, uh, an image in here and then tell it what I want it to look like and add features. And that's the one thing that's really good about this is that you can just use this and practice on your prompting and see how you can get it as close to what you'd like it to do and like to see as you can. Does that make sense? So let's get a little bit deeper. Now, the other thing you can do is, this is negative prompting and I'm getting ready to show you what you can do with negative prompting and your negative prompt will go here before I run out of point uh, tokens. I got 64 tokens left. So let's go go back here. This is your way you hit this little arrow. It'll take you back to your original settings. I mean, your regular original menus. And let's go and find a picture of something that I like or don't like and just want to show off. Let's see. Hmm. All right. How many women going on in here in these pictures? Must be a lot of men doing a lot of art lately. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um. <laughs> Oh, I like her. Okay, so we're gonna cho cho choose her. And we're gonna do this ultra detailed artistic abstract photography of a beautiful smiling woman, Midnight Aurora. Aura, we're gonna go just copy. We can take all this and copy it. If you wanna do the whole thing, you can copy the prompt, okay? You can just mm -hmm. go and copy the prompt. You can do image to image. You can do a remix of the same thing and the negative prompts, okay? So I'm gonna just see what it'll do for me. So I'm gonna go to my AI image generation. I'm going to, and that's not even Kente Claw, so I don't know, because I didn't spell it right, but that's okay. It's been a long day. So here it is, we're gonna generate our two pictures. And see how it did something different for me? And you just keep experimenting. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna see what else I can do because I'm gonna put in the negative prompting and see how the negative prompting is gonna do. So negative prompting is when you take, say you don't want something, like you don't want extra hands, you don't want extra arms you, um, or heads or 
anything else. So I'll show you the negative prompting. So the negative prompting, I don't want, is, this is like I what I do not want. I don't want nudity. I don't want her naked. I don't want an open mouth. I don't want blurry eyes. I don't want two faces. So you can go through all these different things and list and identify all the things you don't want. So if you don't want to go through the whole list, you can take someone's list and add to it or, 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 or subtract from it. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to my AI generation. And I'm going to put in for the negative prompts. Okay, and let's see what it does. And remember, mine's not going to come out exactly as is because I didn't even look and see what they did for a fine tune model. Hmm. Let's see what they did for the fine tune model. I'm going to go back. Wonder what they did. Let's see what they did. They use here. Dream Shaper is their fine tool model. Dream Shaper 5. Or like I said, I'm going to just copy the prompt. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Did I copy it? Where did I put it? Dreamscape model came up. Give me Leonardo's time. Let's see what it does. Came out a lot better, huh? Especially her. She came out a lot better than the other ones. So it's all around just manipulating it, learning how to do the verbiage on it. I, looking at the different types of models you want, I learned through it by you going and using other people's prompts and seeing how they work, how they word it, what I want to see, and just add on to it mm -hmm. until I could see what I want to do better. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does, it, does that help? Yeah. Now for, let's go back to where I, where I fixed little man's arm. Where are you? It doesn't want to go all the way down. Huh, let's see. Let's go here. I'm going to go to my personal feed because it didn't want to go all the way down for me. And I'll show you what I did. So here's where I had him. Gonna move this. Let's see, enhancer escaper. Don't want to remove background. Let's go. There he is. So you can take your eraser and I want to get rid of this. This is the mask only. So I want to make maybe make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to take this and see if I can just remove that, that piece I don't like. Because let's say I like this, but this is bothering me and I don't like it. So here I can say put here and I stayed there. Uh, I put complete the white picket fence because that's what I want it to fill in right here is that white picket fence. Mm. So I'm going to generate. Let's see what it do. And there you go. You can't just say remove the third arm. I did. And it kind of gave me another arm with a different ball. <laughs> so I just said I just told it what I wanted to see from what I erased I wanted to see the wall does mm -hmm. that make sense yes 
All right. But you can continually experiment to get what you want to, re to help remove and regenerate some things. Mm -hmm. Does that help? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now you have other things you can do in here. You can draw a mask. You can like here, upload an image. You can do some editing on an image that you bring in and see how that works. Um, you can do that in here, but you know, you can also do that in Canva, do some editing and stuff in Canva. So I just want to let you know, if you have it, I would use that too. Mm -hmm. So for more information, if you want to get more detailed and stuff and, and know what you can do in their FAQs, one thing that I love is that they have an introduction to AI where they talk about how to get started and the different pieces, the different that they offer. And they also go into the, the to the um, introduction for the uh, Canvas, where it'll step you through what you can do in these this uh, application and how you can put glasses on <laughs> um, the Mona Lisa and put her on a bench and get rid of the background and add to your background with prompting, okay? Mm -hmm. That's more advanced because you see how they got rid of the background here. And mm -hmm. then they decided to put her on a bench and oh, put okay. glasses on her. Mm -hmm. So that's more advanced. And if you want to go that far and learn that much and do that in, in Leonardo, that's great. My purpose was really to make sure that you guys knew that this app was here. Learn your prompting with the AI art. And if you create stuff that you like, you can use it in different places. Because I use my art in my posts. Sometimes in my um, Substack pictures, I use it in um, for my I'm doing the um, my in my Mighty Networks. I use them as my thumb um, thumbnails and and put words over them and stuff to make them. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So in my so these like this stuff, it's mm -hmm. cre I created in Mid Journey, so I use it as a thumbnail. Right. Mm -hmm. In my course, and this is the Mighty Network, if you go to the course. This is my mid journey art. Mm, okay. And I just took it and put it in Canva and added words to it. Right. I used it as the front drop for video. Mm -hmm. Okay. The mm -hmm. other things I've and then I've taken that and used that as my thumbnails for the for the whole for that whole course. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and I use it for you can use it for anything. You can make cards with it. You can there's so much you can do with the art. People are doing. Um, Gwen is phenomenal with doing NFTs with it. She's right. the artist. That's why I only do the intro because I would embarrass myself trying to do anything more advanced. <laughs> so you have people like Diane, you have people like Gwen, you have people that are so great with it that can command these things to do exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. So I would say practice, play with it. If you really want to get more in depth with mm -hmm. the AI art um, and get some real good direction, I would say Diane's course is excellent. I can, I can get that to you, to it, and whoever wants it, just back channel me. I'll send you a link. I should have it right here, but I, yeah, I think I do. Hold on. Let me get it. If you want to get into her course, cause I will say, I always get lead people to whoever I think is the best qualified to do what they do. And I haven't seen anybody that does as great as she does with it. Gwen, what's your, what's your commentation on that one? Because Gwen's very good. I'm telling you, she's awesome. Definitely, definitely agree. She's in the top of your class. Okay. So let me get that link for you. And starting out practicing the free version is okay, or should you jump to the first one? No, free. I, you see, I'm still on free. I am still, oh. I am <laughs> still myself mm -hmm. on the free. Okay. I don't use it that that much on the Leonardo, but I will be honest, I pay for Mid Journey. Okay. I like Mid Journey better. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. Sherry, what do you think? Because I know her, I already know her answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's probably busy. But Sherry loves it. Gotta give us a reason. 
I'll show you. So mid journey since they have my servers up. So my mid journey. Sorry, my phone was in my pocket, but you know, I like mid journey. Mm -hmm. so this is from, I did, a, so I did a mid journey. What was it? Wednesday. This is me. I did emojis. I did a word, uh, did uh, abstract realism. And this came from Gwen, her suggestion, abstract realism, the likelihood of like, likeness of, and I like Lenny Kravitz. So I put that and look what it gave me. Mm -hmm. And here's some other art that I just threw in there that I, I pulled that from, from somebody on a mid journey server. And this is what it gave me. Mm -hmm. This is me just coming up with saying a beautiful black woman and walking her dog. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? Yes. <laughs> now, do they have a free version or do they have like a cost one too? They have a free version, but it only, it gives you, it says 0.3. So it gives you about a quarter of an hour mm -hmm. worth of being able to play with it. But until you, until, I would say use the free until you say, okay, it's not enough. I need more. That's mm -hmm. when you go and pay for it. Right. But if you just okay with playing with it for that little bit and 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 uh, on either one of them and you have both of them, there's also another app, but I'm not going to go into that other app. That'll be another time mm -hmm. I give because I don't want to mm -hmm. hold people all day. It's Wamba Dreams and a lot of the guys. Uh, Gwen, is that is any of that free too? Do you know? Wamba Dreams. Wamba. There's another one called Scenario also. Wombo and Scenario. Wombo Dreams and Scenario. And they're free also. And we'll probably, I'll ask Gwen to help uh, and do that with those, okay? Because I haven't done Wombo, but a, a handful of times. I, so that's why I don't know all about them. The two I played with is Mid Journey and Leonardo. And I haven't played with me, Leonardo in a month and a half because we were doing courses. <laughs> so I've been playing in Mid Journey more, okay? Mm -hmm. But you see the difference of what you can do. So why do and you then, like Mid Journey better? So I like Mid Journey better because I think it does it's better. I, I get better pictures from it. I um the art is just much better. But I like Leonardo. I'm waiting for it to get better because Leonardo is not as old, hasn't been around as long as Mid Journey. But Leonardo, as you can see, so Mid Journey, I can put in prompts. I can verbalize as best I can and to make it do what I want it to do. But Leonardo has more toys that I can play with. And I can get more images. You see how it's building more into it? So if I can get better with my Leonardo, I can just imagine what I can do because look at what other people are doing. I just honestly have not spent the dedication and time like Gwen has. <laughs> with other apps to get to some of these levels. Okay, look at that. I mean, that's not awesome. Look at that detail in his face. Mm -hmm. And building that. So it's not that Leonardo can't do it. Look what people are getting from Leonardo. It's just that you got to learn how to play with them. And that's why I'm saying go with play with them until you see which one you like better and then go ahead and pay for the one you like better and then still work with the other one. You never know. Sorry, I just saw the person's coming on with the uh, phone. You, you know what I mean? You can wind up being really good with this with playing with it on the free and then decide to pay for it. Right. Okay. So, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell anybody to pay for any of this until you know, that's what you want to do. People that decide to pay for this are people like Gwen that'll probably do 300 pictures a night to, to pieces of art at night. <laughs> <laughs> and they're doing minting, they're, they're, they're doing NFTs with it and they're putting it on t-shirts or they're putting it on, you know, doing some um, drop shipping stuff with it or they're, 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 they're monetizing it, if that makes, you hear what I'm saying? So Right, mm -hmm that's when I think it's worth you to purchase it. Or for me, it was worth purchasing because I was doing a lot of it and I have a lot of monetizing ideas that I want to do with it, especially around the holidays and stuff that I will be doing with it. So that was why it was worth it to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So does anybody, Adrian, how far did you get with being able to join Leonardo? They got you on a wait or something? 
Yeah, they got me on a wait. Um, I had to go and fill out the form, and it said that um, they batch um, email the, I guess, the stuff for the white listing. Uh -huh. And so um, I'm sure they're done for the day. So I just have to wait until they batch out so they batch another out. one. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's why with Leonardo, when I was teaching it before, as far as we could go was because I was doing it just basically audio, was I had to tell people how to go ahead and get it and wait. And then, they, then we had to wait three days, three or four days or five days till people got their white listing. And then I could do the, you know, teach them, show them through the basics of the, of the application. This way, I'm able to do it on a Zoom. You guys are able to go ahead and see what I'm doing, get some basic understanding, and then I'll give you the uh, YouTube link and you can watch it and go, you know, just review it. And then when you get access, you'll be ready to go. You'll be ready to go in there and play and have an idea and know where you got, you know, what you want to do and how you want to do it. Okay. I like um, Leonardo, um, just based on the fact that everything is in one place. Yeah. You don't have to figure it out or ask about it. I mean, it's like right there. But if I never use Midjourney, then it would all look foreign to me. Right. And the other thing about Mid the thing is I did with Midjourney people is I had them create their own server. So I have my own Midjourney server. That's what we did on Wednesday. Mm hmm. And this is the Leonardo, this is the uh, mid-journey server where all the noise is. So Adrian, you tried the regular mid-journey server? Oh yeah, I've been out there for a while. Um, Have you created I, your own server? So what does that mean exactly? So, I, I don't know, I guess so. So here, I'm gonna show you real quick. This way it'll be on this video. It's on the last video and you'll have a link to it, but here's a quick and easy. If you go to this left side where you see the plus, you can add a server. Mm -hmm. Create my own server. What does you that mean? You want to do one for me, right? Mm -hmm. You want to put a picture on there because you don't want it to get confused with anything else and you want to give it a name. You can call it Bambi, Fluffy, whatever you want to call it as long as you know what you named your server. And you create it, all right? I'm not going to create one right now because I don't want to have another server. Once you're finished with that, that server show up on this side, okay? Then you wanna to go to Mid Journey. You wanna to go to Mid Journey soon. Oh, I am on Mid Journey. All right, I'll be all right. You wanna to go to the Mid Journey server, which is the one with the white sailboat, right? Mm -hmm. And you wanna look for this little member here, this little double guy here. It says hide member. So it may look like this to you or it may look like this to you. This will give you a list of names, okay? You want the mid-journey bot. And once you get the mid-journey bot, you wanna add them to a server. And then you select the server that you wanna add them to. Oh. Okay? You made it and you'll add them to your server. But, but what does that, I, I understand what you did. And what does that mean? Does that mean I have my own sandbox? Yes, you do. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's your <laughs> mid journey in your own little server. <laughs> so everything that's, on that's here China. is me. <laughs> this is all mine, everything I've done. So I think I have mine already, but it's still got the, um, I guess it, it must have the default. Oh, that's cute. I love that. Um, <laughs> it still has the, um, I guess, I don't know. She's, she's selling her photos for $5 each. So just <laughs> know that whatever you see on the screen is for sale. Wow. <laughs> Way to monetize that. I have Mid Journey too, but I don't know if it's a, I'm the same way. Um, I, I don't know if I have a, my own channel or, or my own server. So how do you, I'm just trying to see because I'm. So I just. I, so do you have a server that you named? So I created this server, this picture, I uploaded and put it there and I called it Mid Journey and Me. So did uh, you name a server? If you didn't, then you're just using Mid Journey. Okay. But you can oh, create okay. your I got, a, I got mm -hmm. something under there that says Joanne server, but then underneath it says Joanne, welcome to Joanne's C server. And then it says, good to see you, Mid Journey Bot. So I must have done it. 
I don't know. Where do you see that at? Is that over here? Where do you have that at? Direct messages? No, like right underneath the mid journey boat, I created something that said Joanne CB server. Oh, okay. And so when I clicked it, it says, welcome to Joanne CB server. This is the beginning of this <laughs> server. And evidently I did it in March. And then it so says- So do you have something up here where it'll say probably um, text where like here you'll see, it'll say video cha uh, voice channel. <laughs> You have something that says like, um, what do you have on your on this side? I don't have anything because I have I have a text channel. Okay, so and and the text it'll say text channel. Hit that okay. plus sign. Okay. Plus. And just put and put test. What what do I put? So what you do is you hit that. Okay. And then you're gonna name it right here. We're gonna give it a name. Just put test. Oh, it doesn't have a name. It says new channel. Okay, so should I put something there? Just put, yeah, put the word test, whatever you want to put there. Okay, T-E-S-T. -T. That's just and a test. you're going to create it. Hit create. Create channel, okay. Okay, we're going to test it. So what you're going to do here is go down here where he says okay. message. Okay, so it this says the message, um, hashtag test, right? So do imagine. Okay, okay, do, okay, so I'm doing hashtag imagine. Yeah. Yeah, hashtag imagine. Okay, hashtag. Not hashtag, not hashtag, sorry. Oh. Forward slash imagine. Oh. <laughs> imagine. And does that come up? Where's the uh, imagine prompt? Imagine, okay, forward slash imagine. Okay. And go then ahead. space prompt, or if you hit space, the word prompt will show up. Okay. Like you see on my screen, do you yes, see it? Yes, the prompt showed up, yes. So now you could just type in your mid, type in something you want to see. So okay. anything like a, tr a yeah, tree like with I'm a bird say, in it. I'm going to say rabbit eating a carrot again. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. Okay. And let's see what happens. Okay. And then just hit enter, right? Hit enter. You should see waiting to start. Do you see waiting to start? Mm. Like what I have here? It says there's a, I, it says the, they can't provide a free trial right now and that uh, there's a subscription required. So what? I have, yeah, Something's it says. Not, I don't know. What's, we'll have open, to look at that server. Yeah, it says open subscription page. And then it, if I want to go to the subscription page, then it, then it has, because it's saying due to extreme demand, we can't provide free something. <laughs> free account, I guess. That's funny. Is it, that that's doesn't what, sound familiar. Yeah, that's what it says. Due to extreme demand that they can't provide a free account. Okay. I'm not sure what this is. Wait, then, have you ever heard of that? And so now it's going to... Yeah, that's, and I think last time, I think what happened was, Almita, we were Hold doing, on, we Go were ahead, doing, Joanne. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. What were you saying, Joanne? I think, la I think I did this with you and I wasn't able to get past this part because it wouldn't let me go any further than. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. This was like in May. This was like. March. March. <laughs> no, this was in March. Yeah. Yeah. This so, was like. So it's so how still, about Joanne, you and I, I'll I'll one on one with you and we'll let's see what's going on with that server, okay? Yeah, because it's been saying that every since it says due to extreme demand, we can't provide free trial right now. Please subscribe or try again tomorrow. All right. So we so, will we will work on that. Okay. I don't have that problem, but I would like to see those two double people again that you clicked on. <laughs> Okay, so if we go back here to the Mid Journey server, you like my rabbits? Those came out better than the other ones. Yes. <laughs> so if you go to the Leon to the to the Mid Journey server, it'll look here, and then it'll probably look like this at the beginning. Well, you won't see these pictures because you'll probably have it like this or something. At mm -hmm. the very top, where you see search right next to the search box, you'll see a double person. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. 
So if you click on that, you see how it disappeared? Because right now I have it here hiding the members list. Now I, I'm selected to show the members list. Okay. Then I'm going to go down to the first green where it says first green name and it says mid journey bot dash one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Select the mid journey bot. Uh -huh. Add to the add to server and then you're going to select the server you want to add it to. Hello. Yay. And, and then create. And then I mean then continue. Hmm. Wait. You are not, are you human? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I know I kept everybody over the time. Is there, so you. Adrian, you good? Joanne, you good? All, yes. all you, everybody okay with Leonardo? Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. I will attach this video with, so, with the instructions and some information so you guys will be good to go. Um, I'll also... Make sure you have my contact information. So if you have problems, Joanne, you and I are going to one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to reach out to you right after this. I'm going to set up so I can make sure you got your mid-journey server up. Okay? I mean, hey, yeah. You, um, you guys, I put Almita's Buy Me a Coffee in the chat mm -hmm. because she does this. Like, she's got, like, so many master mm -hmm. classes coming up. And she's not charging for them. And I just think that they're wonderful. And they really get us started on the right foot. Mm -hmm. So if you could be so kind, buy her a cup of coffee. Or two or three or 20. <laughs> I love you, Sherry. I just think that like people don't ask, you know, and I just, because I know she does it out of the kindness of her heart because she doesn't want anybody to be left behind. But, um, you know, we got to show some reciprocity for her. Oh, yeah, you. for sure. Thank you Janice, so much, you... Alex. I appreciate it. Oh, you got it. No problem. Janice, are you good? I see your awesomeness up here on the, up here with us. Um. I think I need to, um, on the Leonardi, um, <laughs> I'm not able to get in there. I was for a while, but it said the same thing what the other lady said. About that you got to wait? Yeah, for the Leonardo. Okay, so it's just going to send you an email. So you and I, I'll work with you too. You know I got you, Janice. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. All right, we got to set up a meet this weekend anyway. You off this weekend? Uh yeah, um, I don't go back until Sat um Tuesday. Okay, then you and I'll we'll hook up Saturday. All right. Okay, that that sounds good. I got you, girl. <laughs> all right, all right, everybody. I'm gonna come off of the Zoom, and mm -hmm. I'll meet everybody in the house. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. <laughs> Where is this? Let's see.